Hey everybody, it is Phantom A here, and I just want to show you a very easy way of beating the Seedling King. And it doesn't really matter what difficulty it's on, and to prove it, I'm recording this on hardest mode. And these are the meadows that I were running, I was running with. Um, I don't really have that much, as you see my rank is at about, I see it about 10, 11. I'm not the best at counting, but you get the idea. You just need a couple of HP pluses on Leaf, TP plus, Blast Attack, which you can easily get from Devourer, if you have also Miracle Matter, and I have some boss trade videos on how you can do that as well. There's also Power Exchanges, which I have on Leaf, Shock Troopers on Kabu, a couple of Poison Attackers, Weak Stomach, Hard Charge, and Deep Taunt. And Deep Taunt is one of my favorite medals in the entire game for what and a force of Kabu. And you'll be seeing what I mean soon enough. These are all my items. You don't really need a lot for the Seedling King either. And I'm going to hopefully be able to explain to you exactly how this strategy is supposed to work. I am not the best when it comes to doing stuff off the cuff, but I am trying because I am lazy and don't feel like editing. If you have a problem with that, well, I probably would too, but let's be real here. It's, um... I don't know, I've been going through a bit of a mental block of trying to come up with ideas for videos, and I just thought that people have wanted more boss raid videos, at the same time I'm not sure if I'm going to make them the same way as others have wanted them to be made, but I don't know, we'll see about that later. So, Seedling King has a lot of HP, 104 as you can already see, as well as one defense point, and he can be pretty tough because of how much HP he has, but he is of course a plant-based enemy, and that means he is weak to ice, so I have Leaf as my attacker here, and what I'm going to basically be doing is having Leaf be using Hard Charge and then Ice Ring the following turn, while Kabu is using Taunt, and I have V on my item, on item duty, so she'll be using the Garg Shrooms. I have Princess, of course, you know, Channel Mascot, and she just attacks, you know, first turn she's guaranteed to at least do some damage, so I'll be acting as if we can't do that much. But yeah, Leaf's Ice Rain does a lot of damage on, on enemies that are plant-based, like Seedlings and the Seedling King himself. So the second turn, it's important you do this. You have to use Kabu's Taunt first, because that reduces the defense of the Seedling King. And after that, you use Ice Rain, and try to hit both the Seedling in front of the Seedling King as well. If you do that, then Princess also gets a chest to attack, or Choppy, you know, whatever you name your Choppy, it doesn't really matter. And basically what you want to do is you want to get the Ceiling King as close to 53 HP, because I'm on the hardest mode as possible. Or let's just say to be um make things simple. Get him as close to 1 HP above half, if you can do that. Because once he gets to half HP, like exactly half HP, that will trigger the um the second phase where he destroys the ceiling he's on top of and he's basically on foot. And when he's on foot, it makes things a lot more tricky because um, it basically allows him to. What am I? What, what am I trying to say? He can do like he has an area of effect attack that hits multiple times for starters, which can make things a lot scarier. Gosh, I'm having a mental block. You know what? I don't think I need V in the front anyway. But yeah, the point is that you want to make sure that you do a lot of damage and. Just don't do too much. That's the biggest takeaway here. Try not to do too much damage. And I don't know how much damage Fritjikafa would do here. Um, this is very awkward. I don't know how to do it. You know what? It doesn't matter. It, it really does not matter. Actually, that was perfect. Wonderful. So, he is at 53 HP. If he's on hard mode, then you want to get him down to like 46 because he has 90 HP max. On normal mode, you want him down to, I like, think, 38, because he has 74 then. And for the rest of this fight, we're basically just trying to manage his, um, manage our turns as well as we possibly can. We don't really need Princess for anything else until, like, after we're about to finish the fight out. So, yeah, you see the hard seas. Of course, the hard seas can lower the attack power of the, of the target, but since Kabu is taking the hits, it means Leaf, of course, isn't, and he's never going to be attacking, so it doesn't really matter if he's losing his attack power here either. So, now I'm going to use Hard Charge a second time, because I want Leaf to get as much attack power as possible. You also see that last attack is now active as well. Another deep taunt, not to really get the defense lower, but just because I need to... I need to buy out time for my TP to be maxed out. And there's only one more item we need to use here. Well, two more items for this next turn. And that is going to be using 
Leaf's turn to use uh, Spicy Fries on himself. It will take him out of danger for a turn, but the poison will bring him back down because he has weak stomach equipped. And then we just have to do one more deep taunt and one more guard shoe on Leaf. No, Kabu. I, I misspoke there. That would have been a really big mistake if I did it on Leaf instead. Forgive me. <laughs> and just like that, we are ready to end the fight. Because now Leaf has extremely high attack power. And he's at 4 HP, which is what you need to be at to be danger. You know, in danger. Let me trigger. One more top, basically, that deep taunt active. And from here, we can use Ice Rain and just end the fight right there and then. And he has how much HP left? Just one point. And that just means one more attack with anyone, and it's over. And it's a very easy way of beating the Ceiling King, no matter what difficulty you're playing on. I don't know, maybe except for like EX mode on Artist, but I don't really care for that because that's the BOSS EX, and who cares about that for like single boss strategies? You have to be kind of on the fly with those. So maybe you found this informative, maybe you haven't. And if you did, I'll do more videos like this because this is a lot easier for me to do. And honestly, it's a lot more fun too. I guess click here if you want to see more of my videos on fighting some bosses and bug fables, but that'll be it for me in this video, and I'll see y'all later.